This is a new product from the people who brought you Anki Overdrive. This is Cosmo, as you can see, this little guy waking up. And I think what we're seeing here is Anki coming out from behind its initial Anki Overdrive and Anki Drive racing experience to something which really embeds robotics at the heart of the experience. Sets the robot free, so it has these two caterpillar tracks and it can explore the world. It has the movable arm at the front, which works with its different sort of intelligent cubes to play games and to interact with space. But perhaps most importantly is this little camera at the front of Cosmo that can see and detect the world around it and can do more than that, can recognize people's faces and respond to those faces in different ways. So you get different emotions and different reactions depending on who Cosmo sees when he wakes up. So you can see here a whole range of different emotions and this creates a real connection between that robot and the player, much more than with those Anki cars, which of course didn't have any expression. But in a similar way, Cosmo's brain and Cosmo's interactions are controlled via a smartphone app. So there's lots of data traveling back and forth between the app and the toy. You do need that app to play and enjoy Cosmo. But there's a sense that Cosmo himself is an autonomous um, little guy, little robot, and can interact with those cubes and with the environment without you controlling it in the same way that you do with those Anki Overdrive cars and trucks. Well, of course, the big question is when will you be able to get your hands on Cosmo of your own and how much will he cost? Well, in the US, he'll be coming out in October this year, so not that long. The starter pack, as you can see here, comes with Cosmo, this self-aware robot. It also comes with a drive-on, drive-off charger and a cute little thing there is as he gets onto that charge he sort of falls asleep and snoozes and snores while he's charging which I thought was really nice and you get three of these interactive power cubes that light up and play all sorts of different games with Cosmo as well. Now that will cost at retail $179.99 in dollars although there is a pre-order discount so if you go to the Anki site currently today that is retailing for $159.99 so if you get in early you can save yourself $20. So there you go, that's Cosmo, the new Anki robot toy. And it to call it a toy it almost feels like a bit of disservice. Certainly, to me, it rang bells of Wally -E from Pixar, and with good reason, because some talent from Pixar has come on and been part of the design team for Cosmo. Equally, it reminded me of Portal. Not only the interactive cubes felt a bit like companion cubes from that game, but the same way that it was a sort of fuzzy around the edges. You weren't quite sure in some of the interactions whether it was working perfectly or whether you sort of strayed behind the scenes of what had been designed. But it worked with that to create more personality and more interactions that convinced that Cosmo had a, a real persona of his own. My kids' reaction to Cosmo was that this was Furby for a new generation. Those same interactions that they enjoyed and were surprised with as Furby sang songs and interacted with other Furbies they had in the room and created a real sense of personality and communication, I think Cosmo has a similar chance, a similar opportunity to hold that place in children's lives. And perhaps not just children, because the, the gadgetiness of Cosmo, I think, ages it up for maybe adult toy collectors and anyone who likes gadgets as well. Now, we'll be back with more on Cosmo, of course, more on Anki and more on other Toys to Life games in due course. If you subscribe to the channel, we can let you know when those videos are up. But we'll be in the comments today, just as soon as this video goes live.